Hello guys, this is Emperor the Greedo Known here, and today I'm going to show you how to correctly launch your Medieval 2 mods. Now, Pixelated Apollo uploaded a video earlier today, I'll link it in the description, and he did it the incorrect way. Um, I'm just going to take a brief minute to explain why. But basically, what Steam did, um, this, is, this only applies to Steam, by the way. What Steam did over the, I guess, last summer is they they had update compatibility to multiplayer and what they did is they changed things around so that the regular medieval 2 game and kingdoms run on the same uh, executable file basically the file that runs the game so you'll find out that when you install a lot of mods that were made uh, for kingdoms won't run now I'll show you how to fix this first we need to get to the medieval 2 directory so we go to properties we go to local files and then go to browse local files and then bam we're here so basically in the disk install you would have a second executable here called kingdoms and this was used to launch the kingdoms expansions and all the mods that relied on that uh, which most mods do nowadays but what happened is this medieval 2 if you look at it it says <laughs> it actually says if you scroll over Medieval 2 Kingdoms uh, or Medieval 2 Total War Kingdoms and this is basically the Kingdoms XC uh, with a few updates launched by Steam um, so I'm going to show you an easy way to fix this problem and the more correct but a slightly more difficult way so if we go to my mods folder I'll just take the retrofit mod here um, now most tutorials will tell you to rename the mod folder to Americas and this is very very bad for one each mod uses a a kind of storage file called a cache which is uh, somewhere buried in virtual store on your system so you can't really see it but the problem is is every time you well what the cache does is it stores information for the scripting in the mod and for some like AI programming so every time you rename a mod to Americas or change mods you're basically jumbling up this file and this leads to a lot of crashes especially on mods like Third Age and Stainless Steel that rely heavily on scripting um, they have huge script files um, I mean, and you could get crashes and battles and so forth with battle AI. So it's very, very bad, and I think most people who experience crashing, uh, this may be the source of their issues. Uh, anyway, now the correct way to do this is you go to the retrofit MP folder here, or whatever mod it is. Um, each mod has a config file and a bat file. Now, when we look at the bat file, we'll just right click here and click edit. Don't click open, just click edit um, and run. Now you get this file open in Notepad. Now we see it needs the Kingdoms XE. So, a quick way to do it for all your mods is to take this and copy it and just paste it again and then rename this file to Kingdoms. And this is a quick band aid so now when we go to run the mod which will be here run this file and then yep we're running it here so it starts up now I'm just gonna this. now if we for instance delete this Yep, we'll delete that, and then go back, and we try to run it. It doesn't work, so this is what you'll face usually. Um, now, the more correct way to do it, and I say it's more correct just because uh, your system could refer files to this XE and, and when you're like copying XE or copying the executable, it could lead to some instability I'm not sure if it's completely compatible with multiplayer I haven't tried it yet um, but so far I've seen that the copying method works but more correct way 
uh, and perhaps harder because you gotta do it for every mod is to actually edit this file right here and yep put run and then just rename this medieval 2 and that should be the same file that was found in the main directory and then we click this it runs so we're good to go there now uh, for instance I could right click and create a shortcut here and then rename it to whatever I want so I'll just say retrofit MP yes oh, I guess I already made one <laughs> so and then just copy it there and then you could run the mod from your desktop provided you have steam open um, and of course you'd have to do it for every mod you have in here which I have a lot of but I think overall it's less upkeep than changing the renaming the America's file every time also you'll notice that some mods will have a uh, .exe file to run their mod. Uh, it's the same method, just right click it and rename the the line that says Kingdoms XE into the Medieval 2 XE and then you should be golden. So I hope this sort of tutorial was helpful and I hope it enlightened you on the reasons why uh, not to rename the America's file and why there's a correct way and hopefully this will help with the stability of your mods. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.